Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for joining me. I wanted to talk to you today about the Internet of Things. Now, I'm going to talk about the Internet of Things, particularly in Scotland, but um, I'm quite certain that if you go to your own search engine and you put in Internet of Things and your area, your your state, your, your um, province, your um, country, you will be able to find out a comparable amount about your own Internet of Things. Um, so let me screen share. And let me introduce you to Scotland's National Internet of Things Network, um, brought to you by North and uh, the Scottish Government. So Scotland's National Internet of Things Network. Internet of Things Scotland is revolutionising the use of smart technologies across Scotland. Launched in 2018 as a pioneering public-private, public-private, partnership between the Scottish Government, Scottish Enterprise, Highlands and Islands Enterprise and North um, to build a national Internet of Things network for Scotland. Internet of Things Scotland is the UK's most advanced Internet of Things network. Um, now, even if you'd never heard about it, it is apparently the most advanced one in the UK, which should make you wonder why, you know, it's not something that everybody knows about, because normally, you um, you know, we're not too um, reticent in Scotland about telling everybody how, you know, how, how, how much we're on the cutting edge of technology or the forefront of innovation. Um, just bringing you over here to the Scottish government's website, um, uh, just to confirm their um, involvement and in particular on this um this uh this document i wanted to draw your attention to um this particular paragraph it says our 2.7 million investment in this project underpins our vision of Scot uh, scotland that stimulates innovation welcomes investment and promotes its digital industries we want Scotland to be recognised internationally as a natural test bed for innovation in connectivity, which is why we're investing in our digital infrastructure. Now, I don't know about you, but if we were going to um, be perceived or seen as a natural test bed for innovation in connectivity, I would have thought that's something that the Scottish people should know about because connectivity obviously does come with um, EMF issues. Um, so uh, we're a natural test bed for ele uh, electromagnetic frequencies and how playing around with them um, affects a population. Although I wonder whether there'll actually be any research into that. Um, so Internet of Things Scotland delivers seamless and resilient Internet of Things connectivity to cities, towns and rural areas in, across Scotland. Connectivity is currently available in 29 of Scotland's 32 local authority areas, reaching over 35% of businesses and 1.9 million people, enabling them to take advantage of the benefits and efficiencies of Internet Things um, and, uh, and efficiencies Internet of Things technology can deliver. Now, you may, may be wondering, what is the Internet of Things? Well, to put oversimplify, but Essentially, what it is, is um, that they're going to put sensors in everything and those sensors will communicate data about whatever it is that they are recording. And they'll, that, that, what, that data will be transmitted back um, to a sort of centralized system, um, which will be accessible by various um, organizations, um, depending on what information it is that um, is being made available. What bothers me in particular, right here at the very top, we have social housing. Um, so um, you may think it's benign. I'm not sure that I do think it's entirely benign. But anyway, it's being presented in this particular little um, pitch as something which is really there to help um, housing associations understand um, the state of repairs that their stock is in, that you know that their properties are in, whether there's damp, whether there's a, a requirement for some sort of internal repair so that you can find out ahead of time and thereby save yourself money um, by dealing with things. So an intelligent housing solution aims to reduce maintenance costs of properties by deploying sensors to gain real-time insights into the health of each property, enabling the housing provider's limited resources to better support tenants and avoid costly refurbishments. Um, 
Okay. What I want to do, though, is I want to take you over to here to solutions. And I'm going to whiz you right down to the bottom because it's always really important to go to, down to the bottom. Everything important is always at the end. Um, so this is um, Wallscope. Wallscope are working in partnership with Internet of Things Scotland and Eildon Housing Association on a SIVTEC challenge where they have developed Claire facilities and care home management uh, a care and care home management platform designed to provide a real time view of residents' needs, helping to improve their health, well being, and comfort. Now, if you look at Eildon Housing Association's main page, it will tell you that it's primarily concerned with providing high quality, high quality, affordable rented homes for tenants throughout the Scottish borders, as well as some specialised care and sheltered housing. So specialised care is not really their, their, their forte or their, 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 the, the thing that they deal with most. It's just something that they do deal with. Now, over here, we have the CivTech Challenge that um, Eildon Housing Association, along with the Internet of Things Scotland, is involved in. Um, I can't, uh, I can play this for you. You can see that he's speaking, but what you can't tell, um, you can't hear what he's saying. Um, so I actually wrote the transcript of what he and um, that man there is Andres Foray. Um, he's the care service manager at Eildon Housing Association. And another gentleman who speaks on the short video is Gareth Wells. He is the leading Internet of Things. Um, he is leading the Internet of Things policy here in the Scottish government's digital directorate. Now, what I want you to draw attention to is um, in the very first part of um, the, the video, while Andres Foray is speaking, he says, we have partnered with Internet of Things Scotland and Boston Networks to host gateways across our communities. These gateways can provide us with a wealth of tenant and service user data from sensors such as motion detectors, door sensors, epilepsy monitors and smartwatches. We also get a great deal of information from building or component sensors located across our stock. So um, as you can see there, he references um, tenants and data about their tenants, um, and he is not talking about their stock. Now, I think that that's something that everybody should be aware of. So into our social housing stock, um, sensors are going um, for the Internet of Things, and the data from those sensors is being processed and made available to the government and possibly lots of other people as well. Um, so you, sh you should be aware of that. Um, uh, if you haven't come across her, there's a lady called Tash Tashi Sidford. She is an Australian and she talks about how um, she believes, um, and I think it's a very credible belief, um, that uh, homelessness is actually um, a business. Um, uh, it's an economic model. Um, in order for you know there to be a requirement for social housing, there has to be homelessness. So she um, explains uh, very clearly, um, and I'll link her videos in the description, um, how and why it is that she thinks that homelessness is something which is actually being generated in order for um, investors to make money um, in social impact investing out of things like social housing. Um, if there's no demand, then obviously uh, there's no uh, call for supply. And so therefore, there's nothing for anyone to make any money out of. Um, Internet of Things Scotland um, talks to you that, you know, about having sensors that will let them know about social housing, air quality, waste management, intelligent lighting. Um, so all of those things are things that you should be aware of. Are you happy for people to be monitoring um, your waste and how you recycle or don't recycle? Um, are you happy for that to ultimately be linked in some way to um, a carbon credit system? Um, if you're a business, are you happy for um, all of this data to go towards an environmental and social governance score, which is the equivalent of a social credit score for a business, which will sort of be designed around um, taking care of the environment, but that will basically rigidly um, uh, box people into certain kinds of behaviors that they just can't get out of um, and uh, take away freedom. Um, so, uh, Eildon, uh, sorry, uh, Internet of Things Scotland is working with M2M Cloud, also working with wilderness sensors. That's just to let you know that these sensors are going to be everywhere. 
Um, they fully intend to get data about every single tree, every single blade of grass, um, all of our flowers. I know that sounds crazy. It is crazy what they're trying to do, what they intend to do, what they're doing is crazy. Um, and you should know about it because um, if you understood about it and other people understood about it, people would say no. Nobody wants their planet to be evaluated in these terms and data to be uh, crunched in this way so that it can essentially be held against everybody for anything um, at any time. Um, one of the ones that really bothered me was this one here, Safe House. Um, if you go over to the Safe House homepage, um, uh, you can watch a video. Uh, again, I'll link the description. Oh, look, the video is not there. Let me just see if I can refresh and see if it will come up this time. Yeah, there's a video there. Um, so what you need to do, though, um, when you're investigating that, I would recommend anyway is having a look at individuals living at home just as a quick overview it lets you know that um you will be able to sort of um i think this is creepy anyway you know monitoring people while you're away um to make up for the fact that you're not there i think our social model is destroyed if you are leaning towards facilitating families being so disparate and so disconnected that they don't take care of their own when their own are struggling. I'm not saying that it's not that it's hard that it's easy to do at the moment. Our social model does not support us to do it. So please don't think that I'm sitting in judgment on people for not doing it. What I'm saying is I don't think that we should be moving further away from doing it. I think we should be moving closer to doing it. And I don't know many people who would disagree with that. And this kind of technology is going to move us further away. By using Viper nice name, hey, S-A-A-S, -A -A -S. all those involved in an individual's care will be able to view the environmental conditions within residence rooms, such as the temperature, humidity, CO2 levels, light levels, noise levels, and general air quality of the property. As well as the environmental readings, app users will be able to see how often family members have been visited by carers and friends and, and be able, it should say, to monitor their daily activity, to monitor their daily activity, creating, creating greater awareness of their well-being. Um, now, obviously, all of this is being packaged and sold to you as though it is for your safety and security. All of it will come sold to you initially as though it were for your safety and for your security. Um, but ultimately, it doesn't take a genius. Um, uh, it doesn't take really anybody um, at all to think, um, you know, for a moment about how badly this technology could go wrong. Do you want your children growing up in a world where there are sensors everywhere monitoring um, every single quantifiable thing, everything that could be quantified is being measured and being fed back to some sort of central database um, and their interactions with it being fed back to some sort of central database. Our children will grow up terrified. They will grow up terrified of putting a foot wrong and that's not okay. We cannot create a world where life is hard enough Let's not make it any more scary. It's just the wrong thing to do. You don't have to go into it any further than that, I don't think, to understand that it's the wrong thing to do. Um, so they're into microshare, um, ARM, uh, which is using infrared technology to sort of monitor motion. Um, and I just wanted to um, also just bring you across here to network um, and tell you in case you didn't know that it's currently available in 29 of Scotland's 32 local authority areas. So that means Glasgow, Edinburgh, the Scottish borders, Stirlingshire, Fife, Argyll and Butte, Dundee, East Ayrshire, Inverness, Perthshire, Inverclyde, Western Bartonshire, East Ayrshire and the Western Islands, uh, the West, uh, Western Isles and Aberdeen. Um, and they're encouraging anybody here who's not connected to get in contact with them. Um, there are accelerator packs. If you do want to get in contact with them, they can help you to get going with all of this. Um, I think uh, something that it's really important to sort of notice is um, that they want to look at your building health. They want to look at your water. They want to look at your air quality. They want to look at, uh, they want to be involved in social housing. They want to be involved in waste management. They want to be involved in the street lighting. The street lighting, if you've seen some of my videos before, is the kind of um, mainframe um, electric current 
connectivity that allows them or will allow them to place sensors and devices outside everywhere around us so that people's activity can be monitored, not just within their homes, but outside everywhere that they go. Um, I, uh, I don't really think I need to labor the point any much, uh, much further with this. Um, I want you to know that this is what's going on. Um, I think now that you probably do. And what I'll do is I will come back to myself um, if I can do it. Hold on. There we go. Stop share. There we are. Um, and, and, and I'm going to leave it at that. The Internet of Things, put it into your search engine, add your area, have a look, see that it is occurring see that they are putting sensors in everything and um, share the information with other people. Because if we don't, and if we don't stop this right now, and it's really urgent now, really, really urgent. The reason you don't know it's happening is because they want it all to be in place before anybody realizes it's, it's happening. And for, um, for everybody to be in a position where they believe that it's not possible to undo it, um, that it's not possible to live without it. It is possible to live without it. It has been possible to live without it for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And our children deserve better from us than for us to allow this to happen. Okay, um, bit of a rant there, but I really do feel strongly about it. And I love you dearly. And thank you for listening and um, take care and goodbye.